so when it came to foreign policy, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't vote for you in 2016. I was I was jaded. Uh, Obama let me down. I'm yep. from Chicago. I thought 2016 was silly. And then uh, in 2020, with the timeline for getting out of Afghanistan, right. when you tried to get our troops out of Syria, my question is, why are we in Syria? Who even knew? Yeah. And they lied to you and they lied to us about the number of troops in there. And so maybe it's a bit blunt for me to say I want to see people prosecuted for the for the lies of the American people. But uh, in for in terms of foreign policy, uh, perhaps is a little bit of a biased interview, but I think you're the greatest president of my lifetime. Oh, I appreciate uh, it. And ending the wars that we should yeah. not have been involved in. Now the fear is World War Three. Yeah. What, what are you looking at when you enter your next term to to stopping the escalation? Well, first of all, I'm the only one that is going to stop. World War Three, because this man can't put two sentences together. He doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't know where he is. And amazingly, it seems like he's going to be running. You know, it's a lot of people say, do you think he'll make it to the starting gate? Well, we'll see what happens. But uh, if you look at Viktor Orban, because we don't want to see wars. I don't want to see wars. I was in no wars other than we finished a war with ISIS and we completed it 100 percent complete. Uh, but I don't want to see wars. I think it's so horrible, so unnecessary so costly in terms of lives and money in that order and and destroying these countries you know you're destroying culture when you look at ukraine that would have never happened if i were president you look at the october 7th attack on israel it would have never happened what why are i, I look at your policies i see secure the borders bring jobs right. back i look at the democrats and and many republicans and it's foreign war and foreign expansion that's right what, what is that uh i think it's just a failed mentality it's crazy uh, you can you can solve problems over a telephone and said they start dropping bombs. I see uh, recently they're dropping bombs all over Yemen. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can talk in such a way where they respect you and they listen to you. Viktor Orban of Hungary, you know, the leader, they call yeah. him a strong man. Who cares if he's a strong man or not a strong man? He's a very powerful guy. He said the problem the world has is that Donald Trump is no longer president. When he was president, China didn't play around. Russia didn't play around. Nobody played around. And we had no problems. Today, the whole world is on fire. 